Hi, my name is Dimitri, and in this screencast, I want to show you some of the ways that ReShopper helps with code generation. So let's make a simple class called person, and I'll add a couple of fields and properties to this class. So let's have a field called ID, and let's also have properties name and age. And now let's suppose I want to have a constructor for this class. So how do I do it? I certainly don't want to write it by hand. Instead, what I can do is use the general completion feature in ReShopper. This essentially lets me write CTOR, and notice I have a couple of options here. So CTOR F would create a constructor with initialized fields, CTOR P would initialize the properties, and CTOR FP would initialize both. So if I choose this one, for example, I initialize both properties as well as the field with the appropriate parameters. Now let's suppose I want to have a nice two-string implementation for my class. What I can do is I can press Alt Insert, I can choose formatting members, and here once again I can choose which members I actually want to appear as part of the output. So let's have name and age, and after I press finish I get a nice two-string implementation here. Now let's suppose I want to start using this class as part of a user interface and I want to implement change notifications, which means using the iNotify property change interface. So what I can do here is well, after I press enter, I can actually implement the interface, which means that ReShopper doesn't just generate the characteristic event for me, it also generates the event invocation, which is thread safe. It uses the latest C Sharp feature here as well. So it's uh, fairly useful to have this automatically generated. And now of course what I can do is I can change the properties. So effectively I can change each of the properties to use this change notification. I can press Alt Enter on the property and choose to property with change notification. Here as you can see the property gets rewritten. So in the setter we do lots of things. We check for self-assignment, then we assign the backing field that's been generated for us, and then we perform the property changed invocation. Now let's suppose that I want to compare uh, object of type person. What I can do once again is I can press Alt Insert and I can choose the quality members. And here I can choose the comparison criteria. So for example, if I want to compare by name and age, I can press finish and I generate the appropriate equals functions. I get a get hash code implementation as well. I get the equals and not equals operators and notice we have an I equatable of person up above as well. But if I want specific comparisons, like let's suppose I want to compare by ID, what I can do is I can go in back into the generate menu and I can choose a quality compare and here I can choose ID and this does something different. What happens is I get an inner class, a private inner class called ID equality compare that compares by ID as you can see here. And Subsequently, I get an instance of this class created for me right inside my outer class and then I have a property that exposes this instance. So this is a way of me specifying that I want a particular comparison mechanic. So these are some of the ways in which ReShopper helps you with uh, producing code quickly. And to find out more, go to jetbrains.com slash ReShopper. Thanks for watching.